بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد For a believer from the cradle to the grave He is making effort all the time to find this Allah To recognize this Allah To know who is Allah is Shaitan will come all the time to try and distract us And take us away from our object, our maqsad of life that's why we need to be cognizant of this all the time. The 24 hours of my day need to be how my Allah wants it to be. Maulana Yusuf used to say that one is Ismu Shaykh, one is Surah to Shaykh, and one is Hakika to Shaykh. So I'm a mu'min, I'm a believer, I say my name is Ahmed, my name is Muhammad, my name is Fatima. So we got the name of the people of Iman, we got the name of the greatest individuals that set foot on this earth, we got the name of, of the queens of Jannah. But is there a reality behind that? لَيَأْتِيَنَّ عَلَى النَّاسِ الزَّمَانِ لَا يَبْغَى مِنَ الْإِسْلَامِ إِلَّا إِسْمِ That a time will come in my ummah, nothing will remain of Islam except the name of Islam. So besides a person's name being a Muslim, there's nothing else of Islam in that person. And that's what Nabi alayhi salam has warned us, a time will come in my ummah. So I need to make sure and be particular that I'm not part of that narration in hadith, a warning for the ummah. So if you say ismu shay, one is the name. So we say the word lion, nobody gets scared. Because it's just a word lion. Then second stage is to say surah to shay. Now we got the appearance. So a small child, if he sees a picture of a lion, he'll get an idea what a lion is. But the same child will go and scribble on that lion. He will tear that piece of paper with the lion on it. Why? Because it's just surah. So there are people who have the name of a Muslim and secondly, they got the appearance of Islam. Outwardly, they are signs of Islam. I say million then. That is Mushay, a million rand, but it's nothing. I got a check of a million rand. It's also nothing. If there isn't money in the bank account to prove it. So I got a million rand check, I got the signatures, it's an original check, it's genuine. But the bank account doesn't have that million rand. And that's a third state, Hakika to shame. The reality of that. Iman is in a person's heart. That haqiqat. That's when we say there's a lion outside. There's a lion on the loose. That's not just the name of a lion or a picture of a lion, but that's a real lion. al haqmul takathur And uh, Surah Takathur, ulama have given details, just one part of that. On this point here, yeah, ilmu al-yaqeen, aynu al-yaqeen, haq al-yaqeen. One is ilm, the knowledge of a certain thing. We've got yaqeen, but we've got the knowledge of yaqeen. I need to make effort, I need to read salat, I know I need to do this. Yeah, when may I will do it, when I get set for life, I will do it. Delaying, delaying, delaying. This means the level of ilmu al-yaqeen. Aynu al-yaqeen, when you see it, you're close to believing it. One is haq al-yaqeen. Where the reality of Akhirat, the unseen, Qabr, Hashr, Kul, Sirat, Jannat and Jahannam, that has entered the depths of one's heart. He believes it and he gives his life for it. So somebody read in a book about the ocean and they describe to you about the ocean. So the description will be fairly good, but it's not actual reality. Now somebody travels to the beach and he sees the beach, the ocean, the sea, what his 
real eyes he bubbles it clearly now if he has to describe his experience of the sea it will be different for a person who just read about it in a book so one is quran and hadith dina is in the books but it is it in our lives like a poet says that the muslims are in the qubur and islam is in the books that we see sahaba were the flag bearers of islam so we see real islam in the lives of sahaba so they in the qubur and if you want to see real islam then we'll see real islam in the books of muslims so the question is ainul yaqeen that has islam entered me like a person who a river one of his statements were i'm glad i met islam before i met the muslims how much islam is in our lives one great sheikh went to travel overseas he went to a muslim country and a non muslim country when he came back people asked him oh sheikh there are some reports some synopsis of your travels so he said i seen islam i never seen muslims and i seen muslims i never seen islam so he shot to the sheikh explain to us he said i said i went to a islamic muslim country but i never seen any islam people were lying they were cheating they were deceiving they were not praying their salah they were not fasting i seen muslim but i never seen any sign of islam and then i went to a non muslim country but i seen as islam people were good character people helpful people generous i seen all the traits of islam but there were no muslim So that comes to the last stage where haq wal yaqeen where a person goes into the ocean and he jumps into the water and he feels the water he feels the waves now that is haq wal yaqeen he actually can describe details of the ocean Mala Musa Salamburi used to give this example he used to be nicknamed Sahi Busmas said there was a fish that was in the water and an elderly fisherman came and he warned him he said oh young fish beware beyond this waters there is danger you will find a delicious meal but behind that meal there is a dangerous hook when you bite it it will grab you it will hook you you will try to escape you won't be able to escape behind that hook is a line behind that line is a man he will reel you up when he reels you he leave you to die that's not enough then he will scale you completely and then he will chop you up in pieces and then that's not enough he will grill you and burn you and that's not enough he will chew you till the last morsel and there will be no remains of you so the young fish said oh old man i'm not going to fall for your trick there's a lot of food out there but you don't need to dispel me and deviate me if i see the morsel i will go for it all the food in the ocean doesn't belong to you you trying to deceive me the old fish said suit yourself but i am telling you for your own good the fish laughed and again and said what you talking about hooks and lines and men i haven't seen men in my whole life in this ocean i haven't seen flames and fire which burns I haven't seen a thing called a knife which slices and cuts. I haven't seen a creature that loves out of the water. I am not so foolish to believe you. And he went on his way and he seen a morsel of food and he said, "Ha, ah, I loved this old man thinks I'm so foolish to leave the food for him." And as he but 
he got hooked and he tried to escape, he couldn't escape. And then he, he, the, the, the line reeled him in and then he seen the man which he never believed ever existed. And he was left one side and as he was being thrown, he seen the pain, he seen the man, he seen the fire, he seen the knife. He seen everything the old man told him, but it was too late. Alladheena yu'minuna bil ghayb. The unseen must be more clear and more vivid, must be so overwhelming. Akhirat must be so overwhelming that it overwhelms our life in this dunya with Akhirah. Wa Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the feel of making amal wa akhiru da'wana. Anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.